This is Dan Zilnick, president of AFARA, coming to you from my home office just outside of Toronto for this week's 60 Seconds of Sustainability. Hey, I've been having lots of meetings these past two weeks with different levels of governments, provincially, federally, from the ministers all the way to rank and file bureaucrats, and we've been getting lots of questions about hydrogen. All governments are asking about hydrogen these days. And we've had an infatuation with hydrogen before when we had Canada exploring the hydrogen fuel cell, and that turned into a bit of a flop. So the big question is, should we be working towards a hydrogen-based power system now? 60 seconds on the clock, starting now. Now, a hydrogen-based power system comes in many different flavors. There's this idea of gray hydrogen, where you would basically take natural gas, strip out the H's from the C's, since natural gas is CH4, and use the H's and emit the C's. This is a terrible idea. You're creating a lot of emissions. However, blue hydrogen is a really fascinating new concept where we take our abundant natural gas in Canada, split the hydrogens from the carbons, and inject the CO2 into an underground reservoir, store it permanently, that's called CCS, carbon capture and storage, or even better yet, take the carbons and turn them into an industrial input, such as an input into concrete, into chemicals. Um, this is a great idea. This is the concept of blue hydrogen, where we separate the carbon and the hydrogen from natural gas and make sure that the seas are never released into the atmosphere to become CO2. Great idea, worth exploring, and I think we'll see the federal government making some announcements around blue hydrogen later on this year. See you next week, folks. Bye.